Hey everyone, this is Michael Treadhart, National Technology Instructor, and I want to share a big tip for eEdge users and a big shout out to Katrina Benton for sharing these steps. And these are steps that uh, have been asked for quite a bit for a lot of Keller Williams agents, and it's how do I get my eEdge email to forward into my KW email? And in years past, it's always been shared the, uh, the IMAP instructions, but there's actually a way to get it to forward to your Keller Williams email. And for future reference after this video, if you go out to my website, go to where it says michaeltreadhart.com, scroll down to where it says eEdge, and when you click on that, there will be vid or excuse me, written instructions right here where it says eEdge email instructions for forwarding the, G the uh, email to your Gmail or KW email within Google. So you can do it to either one. It only works with Google so far. I haven't, have not seen it work with Yahoo or anything else that's out there. But here are the steps. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, you're going to go into your eEdge account. I'm just going to come over here to where it says my account. I'm going to go to manage eEdge website. Doesn't matter which way you, you go in, just get into the back office. You're going to see where it says email and you're going to come over here and scroll down to where it says email client setup. And oh yeah, by the way, this works for professional users and it also works for eEdge users. This is for everybody. But if I come down here and I say email my password and settings, if I click on that, my information has been emailed to michaeltreadhart at gmail.com. We come over here. There's the email. Now I'm not going to open that up just from a security point of view because it will show my, my password information for that account. But I, I get that information. And then I'm going to come over here to where it says settings. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click settings again. And then when that page loads, you're going to go right over here to where it says accounts and import. And you're going to say add a pop three mail account. You're going to click that. Now, most people at the screen will think that they need to type in their email address. I have found some users who type it in for whatever reason, it does not get approved on the next screen. So I would suggest that you copy and paste that information in. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to put in my info. I'm just putting it right there so I can copy it. And then I'm going to come back to that screen. I'm going to paste. And then I'm going to hit next step. And now on this screen, you would probably want to make the username the same thing. Again, copy and paste. And then your password, go in back to the original email and copy and paste that password information in there. Then you hit add account. You don't have to click anything else on this screen. On the next screen that comes up, there's going to be a yes and no option. Choose no. Save it. And then from that point on, your eEdge email is going to forward into, in this case, my Gmail account, or you can have it forward into your Keller Williams email, which is now housed within Google. So hopefully this will help you to manage your emails much more effectively than what you are doing right now. Then you're not missing any business and keep you a little bit more sane and not have to check multiple email boxes. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to shoot me an email. That is michaeltreadhart at gmail.com or you can go out to my website, which is michaeltreadhart.com. Click that eEdge button and then come down here and click on eEdge email instructions. Talk soon. Bye.